Sony has said that the PlayStation 5 drought is over, meaning that it's going to be much easier for you to acquire a PlayStation 5 console in the future. Let's dive into the story right now. PlayStation had a big event yesterday at CES. Well, actually, Sony did, but PlayStation had an important few items to address, namely that they have sold 30 million PlayStation 5s and that there should be more PlayStation 5s just generally available from now on. PlayStation also posted about this, uh, stating that basically... December was the biggest month ever for PlayStation 5 console sales, bringing the total to more than 30 million units sold worldwide. Thanks for playing, everyone. 2023 is going to be a great year. Now, if you missed the, the CES conference, there were a few other really, really cool things announced. They showed off the Gran Turismo movie, or at least a teaser of it, that is being directed by Neil Blomkamp, a director who I really, really like. And they revealed a new car, a Fila. It's a I believe it's a Honda Sony collaboration and Horizon will be playable in the car. But let's talk about what people said about this PlayStation 5 story really quick. Daniel Ahmad hopping online and saying the following supply has improved considerably and demand for PlayStation 5 continues to remain extremely high. It took approximately 216 days for PS5 to go from 20 million to 30 million compared to 266 days for PlayStation 4. When supply constrained, it took 320 days for PS5 to go from 10 million to 20 million compared to 203 days for PS4. So the PlayStation 5 currently is selling at a little bit slower pace than the PlayStation 4, but still doing quite well comparatively to the previous generation console. And it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens now that there are no more console shortages or anything like that. Now we're gonna talk about all of the other news. So let's talk about this Gran Turismo trailer. Uh, just bring up the trailer here really quick. Um, so like I said, directed by Neil Blomkamp and I'm really liking what we're seeing from the PlayStation movie front right now i'm interested in what we're going to see from the last of us hbo series this looks really really cool i actually played through the entire campaign of uh gran turismo 7 yeah i know i didn't do online or whatever but i i really enjoyed it i think for a sim racer it's still a great game if you're looking for a sim racing experience there's uh a set of corsica out there and then the the new forts is coming around the bend also get it get the joke but uh, this looks cool i i really like how they're doing it it's get i'm getting sort of days of thunder vibes but it definitely feels like maybe it's due to the color or the way the camera moves around but it really feels like gran turismo and that's sort of a weird thing to say i guess a movie feels right but Based off this teaser, I'm liking what I'm seeing, and I honestly can't wait to see this movie. Hopefully, we get more good video game movies in the near future. Now, in addition to that, there was a new controller announced for the PlayStation 5, and uh, this one definitely surprised a lot of people in a good way. Before I show you that and talk a little bit about Project Leonardo, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell if you've enjoyed the content thus far. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, everybody. So, Oh yeah, the reason I'm asking you to sub is because I'm trying to hit 100,000 subs and half of you are not subscribed. If you hit subscribe right now, you could actually make a difference in helping me get there. So thank you for watching. Anyway, Project Leonardo for PlayStation 5 is a highly customizable accessibility controller kit designed to help players with disabilities play more easily, more comfortably, and for longer periods. And if, if you look at the actual controller, it's really neat. Like it's aesthetically pleasing. It comes apart and it's really adaptable for your needs if you have accessibility needs, especially. This is great. You know, Xbox had their accessibility controller not that long ago. Everybody was wondering when PlayStation was going to do it. Well, here it is. And, you know, it, it fits the aesthetic that one would expect from PlayStation. And uh, it's... It's just cool that they're doing this. Basically, they have a testimonial on their site right now from people who work at Able Gamers. They worked with Special Effect and Stack Up to make sure that 
the controller did what it needed to do. And basically one of the things it needed to do was have a high level of customizability. And it says highly customable play experience, hardware customizations, Project Leonardo for PlayStation 5 is a canvas for gamers to craft their own play experiences. It includes a robust kit of swappable components, including a variety of analog stick caps and buttons in different shapes and sizes. Players can use these components to craft a wide array of control layouts and the distance of the analog stick from the gamepad can be adjusted to suit the player preference. These components allow players to find a configuration that works for their strength, range of motion, and particular physical needs. This is great. Like there's any company that's going to go out of their way to design a controller so that more people can play their games. Uh, just kudos to them. I really appreciate that Sony thought about this for a long time and worked on designing this controller, basically. Uh, one of the other items, uh, Jim Ryan actually showed up at the event and he showed off a little bit of PlayStation VR 2. We're just seeing the official asset right now. We actually got to see Gran Turismo 7 in VR for the first time. Now, I have like a, a cheap sim racing rig and that was just like a really fast teaser from Sony. But really cool looking stuff. Like you can look around your cockpit and do, <laughs> do all the stuff that you would want, hope to do in a in a game sorry the whole thing just rebooted for some reason and the last one i wanted to talk about was um they have sort of like a virtual fan thing that they're building and if you you look at it this is sort of an experience where you can go in and go into a fake city and jump into virtual Ethiad stadium and the reason the reason Oh my God, I know I just butchered that, by the way. The reason I found this interesting is because Meta has been talking about, you know, Meta and how they're building this world. This reminds me of PlayStation Home, which was available on the PlayStation 3. And if they're already building something off of that technology that looks at least as good, if not better than Meta, then good for Sony. Because uh, I don't know what's going on with Meta. Meta is just burning through money. Facebook, if you're not familiar, is meta. And they're just developing stuff like what Sony has just come up with here. I still don't understand the appeal of purchasing something like a headset to use meta. Maybe you get it more than I do. But the Gran Turismo stuff, definitely the first time I've said, okay, I would like to at least try that. Would I do it regularly? I don't know, but I think it would be pretty fun to be in your PlayStation VR 2 headset and playing your version of Gran Turismo 7, which, by the way, does include a free upgrade. That's largely everything we heard at CES yesterday. Yes, I do realize that Jim Ryan was just inducted uh, to, I believe, Variety 500 people, and, and Phil Spencer also was, so it looks like everybody's getting their their kudos from the rest of the industry well i have you if you're watching still and you're one of the ha the 50 percent of people that are not subscribed right now you can see this in the back end of youtube please consider hitting that subscribe button hitting that bell i have this goal i've had this goal of a long time of hitting 100,000 subscribers hopefully getting that silver play button Thank you so much for watching this far. Thank you to the members. I updated the list. We got more members, so I had to update it. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll see you for the next one.